Hello, an exact pulse length detector. Interesting. It doesn't detect smaller. This is a two tick. Put in a three tick. This here represents the tick you want. Tick count. That's a three tick. Here's going to be a four tick. And back to a two tick. In interesting. This is it. These need to be at three. I've tried them at four, it does not work. Tried them at two, it still doesn't work. Three, I don't know. Bugs with redstone. Whatever. This is just a visual display. I like. It detects the exact pulse pul pulse pulse length of the current. Over here is a demonstration of what you could use for it. One wire for four signals. So this is binary here. Yep, yep, see. Oops, yet. And that's just one wire. Uh, this could be used in a minecart track, I guess. You can have the minecart track running along the top of it. Or you can do what Etho is going to do with his minecarts and have two minecarts and use detector rails. This allows for a really precise timing. It is exact to the redstone tick. Can't get one tick, you have to do a two tick. But that's even easier now that with the new redstone update. One tick will make the block come here, and then it wouldn't work anymore. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that at all. Yeah. So that's it. I guess I could show it. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to do a tutorial. Again, it's easy to do. It, you don't need this. But you need to, you can have the torch here or over here. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's not a torch. A torch there. The end gate needs to look like this. I've again tried it different ways. It just doesn't work. I don't know. Bugs with redstone. Hopefully they'll fix it. Yes, that's how it works. Well, not how it works, what it does. How it works is this here comes on after this here. If you want to add more delay here, you can either do that or have another one here. Yeah, I think it should work with any delay. I don't know. So far I just use it at from 2 to 5. Yeah, 2 to 5. That's one... That one right there is 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is... 2, 3, 4, 5. That's how it detects that. Simple binary decoder there too to do it. I guess you can use it in a USB if you're making a computer. Ugh. That one's broken, I can't demonstrate it. Sorry! But I'm working on another one. That's not it. <laughs> Thanks for watching!